brain teaser number one. So, which of the following sentences is false? HIV is a lone bystander in extrahepatic organ involvement. Causal association is not proven. Number one. HIV is excreted in semen, but sexually transmitted diseases are not reported. Number two. Number three. HIV may cause mild to severe acute pancreatitis. Death have been reported. Number three. IgM, anti-HIV, and HIV RNA should be investigated in all cases of bullying virus. So, uh, option I. Which is false? Option A is false. How many? Option A is false. Okay. For B, it's okay. Uh, so, give any answer. I I request you to give any answer. Okay. This may be I. Uh, Mishra ji, आप ही बता दीजिए. Which is false among them? C is false. Okay, so यही पर रहने देते हैं इसको और आगे investigate करते हैं। So answer is basically a how. Let us go ahead. C. Brain teaser number two. A 35 year old gentleman with history of renal transplant two months ago underwent routine blood checkup. His hemogram, KFC, lipids, sugar, other parameters were were within normal limit. LFC showed bilirubin 1.2 mg, AST 132, ALT 148, ALP 190. He was on prednisolone 20 mg OD, tetralimus 3.5 mg BD, mycophenolate minoxidil 300 mg TDS. What should be the next line of investigation? Sir, we have two times AST given. AST two times given, sir. Sir, one ALT. सर आई एम सो सॉरी सर मान लीजिए एक एलटी अच्छा एक कोई भी एक एलटी मान लीजिए एक एसटी मान लीजिए आप दोनों ए हाइपोथेटिकल केस है बट आई 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 एम इंश्योरिंग यू इन द कमिंग फ्यूचर मोर एंड मोर लाइक दिस केसेस यू आर गोइंग टू सी सो रूटीन वायरल मार्कर नेट फॉर वायरल हेपेटाइटिस इन सीरम रिव्यू ड्रग और ऑल perfectly all right so at least for this uh, i think a little bit actually this is a very uncommon topic and uh, uh, chronic hepatitis e dr surender has a little bit touched the topic but uh, i think this is uh, usually not discussed the topic relatively uncommon to you are all uh, whoever has said all is all right so this is the outline of my topic i will be covering this topic under this following heading epidemiology has been covered by rakesh agarwal sir in quite a detail 20 million according to the who 2015 fact sheet 20 million hiv infection annually 3.5 million symptomatic cases 60000 deaths all over the world that is huge number 2015 now in 2023 it, it would have gone up HIV is causing more than 50% of all acute viral hepatitis cases, and it is now proven that it is causally associated with the, associated with the extrahepatic manifestation a lot. Now, recent concept within what we have seen within last two decades, it may progress to chronicity and very rapidly go to cirrhosis. Specifically. as pointed out by dr surender in solid organ transplant immunosuppressed hiv cancer first of all we are going to discuss about extra hepatic manifestations of hepatitis c so what is extra hepatic manifestation usually hepatitis e causes infection of the liver involvement of the liver so involvement of any organ beyond liver is extra hepatic involvement hepatitis e may involve almost i think i almost whole body but the documented cases are in brain kidney pancreas blood cells joint hiv has been documented in placenta breast milk urine and semen but std has not been documented so point number 1 of the mcq among all these neurological manifestation are most important because these have all graded complications 
extra hepatic manifestations are uh, associated either in the form of prodrome or in whatever form in up to 90 to 95% of acute HEV and 5 to 11% of chronic HEV also. And causal association has been proved by well-designed studies. In some asymptomatic lone bystander has been also reported. And what is the pathophysiology of hepatitis E? Why it causes extra hepatic manifestation? The hypothesis has been given or even proven sometimes that it causes tissue tropism. Hepatitis E virus has been detected in various tissues like cerebrospinal fluid, in pancreatic tissues, in other, wherever disease has caused, the people have detected it. Second mechanism is molecular mimicry. So many of the proteins of the hepatitis E mimic with the uh, proteins of the body and they cause immunological damage to that organ and that results in the extra hepatic manifestation. So this is the this diagram is showing basically uh, some common uh, if not treatable then don't worry I have discussed in detail. So most uh, the largest number is neurological and involving nervous system, both brain, spinal cord, peripheral, pancreas, thyroid, heart, blood cells, kidney, joints, so almost whole body is involved by the hepatitis C. Uh, so these are some common phenotypes and some dreaded, very dangerous phenotypes, Julian barre syndrome, neurological amyotrophy, encephalitis and myelitis. And very well designed studies, case control studies, cohort studies, and case reports have proven that this may cause definite Gulen Barre syndrome, neurological amyotrophy, and encephalitis. So, we are all familiar with the Gulen Barre syndrome. It causes flaccid parapyresis or even sometimes quadripyresis. 5 to 11 percent of cases have been clearly documented that they are caused by the hepatitis. Neurological amyotrophy. Uh, when I reviewed, I first time came this, this term because I had not reduced the MBBS or MD for neurological amyotrophy. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, we all have read. So I correlated with that. So when I got, went into the detail, I found that it involves the bilateral brachial flexors and it causes various degree of neurological weakness in both upper limbs and shoulder pain. So uh, the series which was described originally was by Dalton et al. So they, they gave a triad, triad of shoulder, bilateral shoulder pain, variable degree of neurological weakness, and derangement LFT. And they said that all the triad are found, almost 100% that cases associated with the hepatitis C virus. Next is encephalitis and myelitis. As with other encephalitis and myelitis, hepatitis E associated myelitis and encephalitis is associated with very poor prognosis. And causal association has been documented by detecting the HEV in CSF and IgM, uh, production of I, IgM anti HEV in the intrathecal tissue. Two deaths have been documented in the case, uh, the case series and case report. So I think neurological manifestations are clear. Now we are going next to the retinal manifestation. I will finish in time, boss, Dr. Sren. So pathological phenotypes, membranous proliferative glomerulonephritis, cryoglobulinemia, and nephrotic syndrome. At least four or five case series and well-designed cohort studies have been reported on this manifestation. And once again, causal association has been proven. Because as the hepatitis C virus uh, RNA level goes down in the serum, the disease manifestations are gone. And membrano uh, One more thing is to talk about how to diagnose these cases and how to treat. Basically, uh, member MPG and cryoglobulinemia and nephrotic syndrome are diagnosed as usual. We do workup, urine routine microscopy, 
clinical features, renal biopsy, and treatment. Most of the cases have either resolved by spontaneously or by uh, since the chronic hepatitis E is present in solid organ trans transplantation or immunosuppression, or sometimes these are seen asymptomatic uh, in immunocompetent persons also. So either they get resolved spontaneously or switching down the immunosuppression, or in some cases, in three cases I found, by giving to rebabarine. So diagnosis and treatment. Hematological. Most of the, uh, mostly case reports have been found out the, uh, detecting anemia, thrombocytopenia, and monoclonal paraproteinemia. So not very uh, large series, cohort or case series. So definite causal association is not proven in hematological manifestation. Acute pancreatitis is a rare complication. In 2015, a case series was published involving case 13 case reports, 4 case series, and 55 cases. All were from Asia and uh, or they had uh, history to the travel to that area. Mean age was 28 years and male to female ratio were 18 to 1. So male predominance was there. Mean interval between the onset of jaundice and acute pancreatitis pain was around 10 days. And at least 82% cases were mild to moderate severe and 10%, 18% were severe. Two deaths were documented. So option number three. Documented in cases of acute pancreatitis related to hepatitis B. Now we are switching over to chronic hepatitis E. So, chronic hepatitis E has been defined. Uh, do I need to clear anything in uh, extra hepatic manifestation? Although many other joints are uh, have been documented, but Clear cut large series or uh, causal association has been proven in only these. And all other diseases, uh, asymptomatic bystander, lone bystander, in case series or case reports have been documented. So, do I need to uh, explain anything in extra hepatic manifestation or switch over to chronic? So, chronic. Chronic hepatitis E is defined as persistence of hepatitis E iron, uh, hepatitis E RNA for more than 12 weeks, means three months. So, uh, as it's been explained by Rakesh Agrawal, sir, hepatitis E is a uh, virus of genus Hepiviridae. And Hepiviridae has at least uh, seven species. A, B, C, D, E, F, so on. Among them, hepatite, uh, uh, ortho hepivirus A. Ortho hepivirus A nowadays has been expanded up to eight genotypes. Four, initial four, one, two, three, four have been documented in humans. Rest others have been documented in animals. So now genosis, that's the concept of genosis. The ortho hepivirus C. Is there pointer? Pointer is this. So, ortho hepivirus. Ortho hepivirus C basically causes infection in the rat. But due to genosis, this may cause infection in the humans also. So, and among these genotypes 3, 4, and 7, HEV of ortho hepatitis, ortho virus A have been associated with the chronic hepatitis. Only one case of uh, genotype 1 was documented to have chronic hepatitis E, which traveled from Asia to Europe and uh, was on uh, immunosuppressive medication that developed chronic hepatitis E. So one case of uh, chronic hepatitis E in genotype 1 has been also documented. But most of the cases are genotype 3, 4, 7 and one case of rat hepatitis E. Very clearly shown by Sir, the epidemiology. Genotype 3 and 4 are mostly found in the Europe, European countries 
and these have been associated with the chronic hepatitis e also genotype 1 mostly in india and uh, uh, the south eastern asia region genotype 4 in china and hong kong all so the genotype 4 chronic hepatitis e cases were documented in the china uh let us see a little bit of review in in sub group of patients how chronic hepatitis e evolved so epidemiology in immunocompromised patients so first the first case of chronic hepatitis e was uh, detected in 2008 in europe in post transplant patient which on we was which we uh, was on immunosuppression and uh, reducing the dose of immunosuppression did not evolve then ribavirin was given and that led to the resolution of the virus gradually then later on several case series well designed for heart and uh, case controlled studies we showed that hepatitis e can become chronic in patients in solid organ transplantation in about 60% in one study in which 14 cases underwent uh, solid organ transplant a uh, eight out of them went into the chronic hepatitis e. in autoimmune disease a review described 60 cases among 67 cases were documented to have chronic hepatitis e on various immunosuppressive medications in cancer leukemia 17 out of 50 cases in hiv one case was diagnosed in 2008 after that solid organ transplant in europe and later on three more cases have been documented uh, in hepatitis e fortunately after that even a larger series have not documented uh, chronic hepatitis in hiv in 2022 two cases of chronic hepatitis e were documented in covid due to the use of uh, immunosuppressive medication uh, like tocilizumab and uh, one more immunosuppressant was used in europe and uh, that patient was a uh, developed chronic hepatitis c so uh, what are the underlying mechanism of uh, the development of chronicity basically hepatitis e virus is cleared by the immune system so whenever there is dysfunction in the immune response the innate immune system humoral immune system due to any either acquired by the immunosuppressive medications or hiv or due to any reason primary immunodeficiency that may cause the uh, development of chronic hepatitis c and it is the severity of immunosuppression and type of mechanism of the drugs used which cause immunosuppression because not all drugs cause immunosuppression the most culprit important culprit agents are tetrolimus evrolimus and rituximab there are abnormalities in the inflammatory response also abnormal macrophages inflammas on reaction a different concept evolving viral factors genotype 3 and 4 more commonly associated tropism for the extra hepatic tissues zoonotic potential quasi nature quasi nature is a concept hepatitis c mutates not mutates but uh, with it, it replicates there are sub uh, generation of subtypes immunity against one type develops another type does not develop so persistence so modes of hiv transmission mostly genotic blood transmission and other possible in china water borne cell fish fresh fruits and vegetables have also been documented as one case which was uh, developed uh, after solid organ transplantation the, there was history of eating of cell fish in that most of the cases uh, which were uh, detected in europe has history of genotic transmission so laboratory diagnosis <laughs> very good coverage by dr katia is this okay left how to diagnose viral hepatitis so anti hiv antibodies are usually not useful for the diagnosis of chronic hepatitis c because due to immunosuppression they are not expressed nucleic acid testing are reliable both in the blood and uh, stool and this is the usual sequence of events how uh, the serological markers and clinical features develop after acute hepatitis hiv rna in serum up to 1 and 1/2 month in stool up to 2 months but beyond 2 months hiv rna is not detected so persistent of hiv rna more than 3 months is supposed to be chronic hepatitis c 
the case report case series has seen that hepatitis chronic hepatitis e may vary from asymptomatic enzyme elevation to frank acute hepatitis to development of chronic hepatitis showing fibrosis inflammation and very rapid evolution into the uh, cirrhosis developing portal hypertension and even decompensation also extra hepatic as with the acute we have seen so how next how to treat chronic hepatitis e so first step is reduction mostly it is seen in the immunosuppression so first is reduce the immunosuppression dose was for three months not cleared give three month course of rivagrin if negative well happy if relapse of uh, uh, cessation of rivagrin for three months six months and if persist then in immuno uh, transplant liver transplant cases interferon but not in other transplant because only in liver cases regulatory interferon can be given in other transplanted cases immunosuppression interferes with the regulatory interferon and if no response or non response to ribavirin here also we can use regulatory interferon only in cases of uh, liver transplant so take home message many extra hepatic manifestations are possibly related to hpv initially it was thought that it only causes acute hepatitis c e, but now proven it may cause chronic in immunosuppressed in near future more and more sir is going to start transplant here our kgmu has started but still many knowledge gaps remain why one strain causes another strain does not cause geographical distribution many a lot uh, so i think this is over and any question uh, i am ready i will try to explain